Hi, uh, welcome back. Uh, this is Channel UTM. Uh, it's a tutorial based research channel. Um, and basically, we're here to show you how to uh, find out this stuff for yourself. Uh, this is part five of um, Dion that we're looking at. I haven't got a picture of the uh, planet, but I do suggest uh, having a look at the uh, the other parts of this. Uh, this is basically a quick recap of something I was looking at in part four. Um, so it's just the nature of the way I've been doing doing things. Um, I'm constantly looking looking at the images, and I've. I've been finding extra extra stuff, so we'll we'll start it from where we left off. Um, right, okay. So this was the last image we looked at, um, <clears throat> and basically this one, excuse me, <clears throat> is going to be looking at uh, this image, uh, which we finished with in. Part four. So the area in question was this inset that they pointed out, saying that um, that that area was um, one of the mission's um, highest resolution views of the of Saturn's um, the Saturnian moon's icy surface. Right, okay, so pause and have a read, there's some information here, um, and I had a look at it in relation to the size of the pixels um, that came up on my image, and I worked out that um, it was uh, three to four miles, this, this, uh, this inset. So the recap on this, um, where we left off, was this, where we found this. Um, check out part four. Um, it's it's all in relation to uh, uh, the the Pluto update, and it's related to um, Mercury as well. So let's have a look at so downloaded this image <clears throat> which is the inset which is here um, and I do apologize to people with phones I did look at the part one of this series on my phone and you really couldn't see too much so um, <clears throat> apologies for that and uh, I do suggest looking at this stuff on a, on a larger screen um, it's just the nature of. So, okay, so we're going to go to the inset and uh, so just quickly I'll get this to around about the, the same sort of size um, and we were discussing the um, structures and stuff that we, we found here. So the inset is a uh, much better quality, but I just want to show you what I found. Um, and uh, yeah. So go and have a look at Mercury. Um, and I was explaining on that that I hadn't seen anything quite like um, the grid uh, structure that um, we were looking at and then we found some on Pluto and now Dione. Um, I've put a bit of colour into this um, just so you can see it slightly better um, and we'll have a I'm doing this now this should look fairly reasonable on your phone 
um, and I have been discussing about the makeup of these images. Uh, I think it's very important that you um, understand the, the, the extent of the editing um, so you can get your head around uh, what you're looking at um, and what's been covered up basically. Um, if you are new to this, I do tend to do a bit of the research in real time. So you can just get to grips with it, see what I'm seeing, and uh, yeah, I wouldn't call that. I wouldn't call this easy to um, visualize. But what we think we're looking at is um, very linear. Is that is that right? Um, formation of um, structures um, connecting um, various parts, well everything's connected to everything um, and like I say if I'm not making sense then please do um, Go and have a look at the other videos. It's a, it's a bit of a mission, uh, but we've been making some really good headway with uh, understanding what's going on in these images and finding more and more stuff. So this is a result of what we've been looking at in the past few videos. Um, it's going to be quite short this I think but I just uh, wanted uh, those people who have been following I just want to keep them updated with anything else that I, I find new on the images that we've already looked at so if we look at this image um, obviously the quality is much different but what I try and do uh, is trying to relate some of this to um, uh, other other images that we're uh, we're looking at. So have a look at that, and I believe that is is here. Uh, this, which is quite prominent. This obviously here, the quality of this image is a lot, lot lower. Um, but we can see that it has the same characteristics um, as the uh, higher quality one. Just so we've got more detail in here. Um, again, this stuff is very, uh, very complex, very packed together, and it is difficult to decipher. And um, there is a, I wouldn't say this isn't a bird's eye view. We have a slight angle on this. Um, so if we imagine this is the top and this is down this is the underneath and then the next section in front of it and so on and so forth and it's probably around about i don't know 70 degrees that we're looking at it from if you were from above it something like that so I don't know yet when I'm putting it out, but I'm going to do some uh, doing some um, Curiosity Rover stuff, um, and I'm, it's going to be if you haven't seen it yet. I'm not sure, like I say, when I'm putting it out, but uh, showing you images of uh, Mars's surface and explaining. Uh, 
the extent of the editing and um, the um, the way that they manipulate the images um, throwing uh, making foreground part background and vice versa and airbrushing etc etc it's it's quite incredible so uh, if I have put that out then uh, then good and if I haven't then it's something to look forward to because they're very interesting images okay back to this Now, I don't exactly know what they've done to this. This almost looks like a, a reticulated, uh, gone through a reticulation filter. But not in all the areas. As you can see, there's different areas have different makeups. Um, like I say, if it's not making sense to you, then please go and look at the uh, the other videos. Do go into it quite a lot. It's very important to understand what we're what we're looking at. Um, so to me, this is um, we can't so much see the up and down, but it's definitely. We'll call it horizontal on the picture. Um, all joined together. Um, and uh, extremely complex. Very industrial looking. No, it's like a little bit I saw a minute ago. Which I was going to uh, blow up and see if we could uh, make any sense out of it for you. On the phone, this might look alright. On a PC, decent screen or a, a, a laptop, it might look uh, rather, rather funky. The reason this is uh, changing colours is just the nature of the tools that I use, which are explained in the earlier videos, and, and will be doing a tutorial about one. Um, If I pan back out, it's like a platformed area with a, a structure in the middle of it, and they are all over the place. And uh, sorry for repeating myself, guys. Um, But you have to learn how to uh, to look at these images. Once you've sussed it, then um, it will all make sense. And by the way, my favourite uh, mission logo. There we go. Very different. But we can see it's a shame that this uh, thumbnail didn't have the outside because uh, one thing we were noticing, which I talk a lot about, is the edges of things and how the uh, the anomalies in question carry on through this stuff. We find it on um, cliff edges and um, crater edges. Uh, and if you haven't seen it yet, I'll be showing you that with um, <clears throat> skylines and rocks and things from the uh, rover images. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm a bit froggy today. Okay, right. 
Um, I'll leave you with this again. Um, uh, see if I can spot that little thing I was looking at. See, on my screen, when I get to a certain size, I lose stuff, which I was just looking at. This area here, you can clearly see where tubes or pipes, um, let me go remember, this is three to four miles wide. Um, if I my calculations were correct, um, so it's beyond belief really but this is it check out the videos I've got quite a few now um, and the uh, conclusions are so similar um, it's nuts Okay, like I said, it was um, a very short one, um, just, just a quick recap on uh, the part four that we did. Um, just trying to keep you updated on stuff. make that bigger and see make any difference for you if you are new and I've seen this uh, seen this for the first time and uh, your mind is open and let us know what you think, especially what you're viewing it on, because it's important to how I uh, present this stuff as well. Very big thing sticking out of that platform area. This is clearly some sort of a tube of some description. I can only see a couple on this, maybe here. But check them out, check the videos out. You'll see how everything is uh, relating to, to um, each other, the similarities. Craziness. Okay, guys, I hope this worked for you. I um, hope it made uh, some more sense, a bit more of insight into what we were looking at. Um, what I do like about this is they talk about the, the inset and the, the quality of it. Um, 
and then what we found around it. Um, says to me that if they are pointing something out, um, go and have a look at it. Um, use the methods that I showed you and um, it's in front of your face. It's, it, it's as simple as that. Um, for the untrained eye, these ones might be a little bit difficult for you at the moment. So go start at the beginning. Start where I started um, with Ganymede. Uh, it's insane. No one can say anything. Um, ugh, just go and take a look. Anyway, guys, right. Chundering on as usual. Let's leave it at that. Um, and I'll see you on the next uh, the next vid, wherever that takes us. Um, we've got. I was going to say something I shouldn't then, but um, we have got a lot more places to look at. Um, and uh, it's getting better. Okay. Brilliant, guys. Thank you very much for your time again, and I will see you soon.